Thank you. So, apologies. Uh, local, I'm local. I'm truly ground person. I do in for, uh, nature. I do. Uh, I use GIS as a third program next to the Word document and uh, and uh, Excel. So I used to use a lot of GIS. Now, thanks to our land board, we got such application that uh, most of the time I'm using a mobile application and I almost no go to, uh, go to any of the GIS programs. Sorry. So, forests. This is the trees, or land which is supposed to have trees in Estonia. But it doesn't have. Sometimes happens. Uh, and shit happens more and more frequently. I, mostly it's actually a human who is cutting, but this is a, it's supposed to be a positive side of the forestry. But unfortunately, we have many causes why trees die. Is it uh, big events, uh, weather or fire or, or mammals or fungi or pests? So it's a huge package who want to kill your trees. And in the real life, this is a po it can be positive, it can be negative. But think about uh, this stand. This was a primary exemplary stand of the best productivity of Estonia, 400 uh, plus uh, cubic meters per hectare. It was supposed to be that everyone can go, go and enjoy the real uh, accumulation of carbon and saving the, saving the climate. By the way, Estonia saved the climate until these years because we increased our forestry, forest area from 25 to 55%. So if you have something good in uh, climate, this was done by Estonia alone. And last year, you see, no trees, no back uh, anymore, uh, carbon sequestration, everything is gone. So all the work, all the effort of uh, last 80 years, done. And the uh, Increase, the natural uh, disturbance is increasing. You see, it's uh, from National Forest Inventory from 20 to 45 percent. Last period is not published. It's just in a week to publish. So we will know uh, how bad it is currently. But there is an interpretational aspect. What is the goose, what is bad? And this is depending on the stakeholders. Yeah, no mistake. Natural compet competition within Estonians for a seat. So the natural uh, view of the forester is that you grow uh, 60, 80 years of timber, and then you actually you would be happy to have just a firewood. Of course, we can't compare the prices of the same timber. So it's actually very bad. And if you live in a forest, yes, it is a slow burning, but it's still burning. So it's just a matter of timing. It's everything it will burn. Now, at the same time, if you look uh, on the uh, historical aspect, and actually dead trees can be very beautiful. And this very famous, uh, it was almost important to have in every office in the uh, Soviet Union, as uh, three bears. It was actually drawn in Estonia, in the Northeast. So th think about it. this is Estonia. Yeah, but uh, the three small bears. The big one is not counted, it's too big and dangerous. <laughs> Actually, the original name was Morning in the Forest, but nobody liked the name of it. So, but that from a nature lover, a tree hugger point of view, you have, you have seen dead trees have a lot of positive side. There is a hang, hanging location for lichens, or there is a food storage for many birds, there is a lot of fungi, there are mosses, there are insects. So it's a lot of positive things. So one forester told me that there is nothing more alive than a dead tree. It can be true. But if you're going into pests, then su surprise, surprise, look at the number, 2%. 2% of Estonian area is uh, only affected by pests as insects, and there was like 45 as natural disturbances. But currently, 99% of Estonian forester, uh, let's say, cry is about pest uh, outbreaks. So, what we did. Uh, I got into land board. I'm an ecologist, so I just got there Pro, uh, and uh, talk, talk, talk. And finally, I got someone who had uh, free time in summer called Nikita. And he just grabbed a little bit of uh, orthophotos. He used uh, LiDAR uh, land cover and the topographic maps. So everything available just in the ba back computer of his uh, office, so it was easy to use. Landport is managing all the data, and it's free. But why to tra drag all the data into Tartu and then send everything back to Tallinn? So why? 
let's save the world. And the beauty is that when you have usual orthophoto maps, uh, orthophotos, you see also the trees are gray. But every forester knows in a forest, uh, foresty color combination, composition, um, the trees are blue. So it's very much more e easy to recognize. And this is easy to learn from a mach machine. So the Nikita did it. He uh, gave, uh, semi, uh, let's say, semi-automatic or this image recognition system in Arcis. So sorry, Landboard paid for it. But uh, Nikita did all the, uh, everything for free, just a few cups of tea. So it's still almost free. <laughs> <laughs> he filtered out by forest mask and the interest areas and made uh, this huge uh, image sequ sequestration. Classif made a classification using a very complex random forest model, and then the object generation and blah, blah, blah. So it's a physically, it looks a lot more like this image, segments, recognition objects, and uh, finding blue areas as dead, potentially dead, then removing uh, clear cut areas, and so it was. But surprise, surprise, it was slow, and the machine didn't want to learn. It always had errors, had a lot of problems. And then next, uh, I got into the uh, Tallinn, in the office. I got a few cups of coffee before that, so I'm full of energy. And then we sit behind the Nikita's computer and tried another way. Just did very basic, simple uh, image thresholding of uh, objects. Looking on just image and just try it, putting uh, threshold levels. And we found the blue, we defined the segments, we uh, vectorized, we put uh, uh, offset centroids, and then just defined. Done. And I promise it was three times more faster, it was more efficient, and they provided more trees. So simple and easy, and worked. So the difference is, uh, you can see, Large segments, small segments, more sensitive, possible to do all neighborhood analysis, everything else. So it was quick and dirty. And the cost was only, one, for me, one cup of uh, coffee and for Nikita, another tea. So that's all. And two, two, one and a half hours. All the job done. Again, free. So it's open. Unfortunately, when we started to put all this to stakeholders, that somebody would like to, interest, to be interested about it. Then we got into troubles. That uh, somebody said, oh, you have too many. Oh, you have still missing one here. Or, or there is something strange going on here. So it had a different. And just to uh, combine all this half year of talking of different, that, uh, state owner, uh, state forest, having a half of the forest managing, they said, Whatever you do, we don't care. We do much better. We have five person working on it for years, so the, we will do better. The other fresh, large companies said, okay, why not? We try, but we, are not, we can manage without it as well. Then the most interested were small owners, but unfortunately, they are not very active. They don't care. Even if they know their territory, they will not go and manage it frequently. And then we have subsidy management and assessment uh, administration. They said, yes, it's nice, it's very useful, but we used to have our own person outside and checking everything. So yes, it's nice. And then uh, finally, mo forest monitoring and reporting. Some of them need only five year step, uh, but we have four year steps, so it doesn't fit for them. It's just administrative problems. And nature conservation, this is, uh, they want to have everything, but it's nice to say that, you see, dead trees are everywhere. So you don't have, don't have to complain about nature conservation areas where more trees are die. So that's all. So the big emotional output was that everybody understood dead trees are everywhere. So at least we don't have to complain anymore that there are dead trees. But OK, we tried to respond uh, with Nikita on these, all these complaints. We tried to remove uh, uh, HFX. We tried to remove uh, uh, <laughs> thinned forest. We tried to remove for road effects. We have difference. So we have like. Currently, try to this clear cut area example. You see, there are so many just to, by spatial and more uh, tree height uh, information. We removed a bit more. Then, unfortunately, you don't see here is also neighborhood analysis, but okay, the circles were not visible uh, anymore. So, it's here, here is a, a thinner area. Oh, this is all dead trees. No, this is a ground. Unfortunately, like in Finland, we have a lot of lichens. The lichens look like the dead tree. And if you have uh, not uh, industrial forest, you see a lot of lichens which uh, look like dead. 
So we tried to find a way to remove it, and it was a, a, a lot of, in a cost of positive observations. So this is a, a wetland re-wetting. Re uh, re so the ditches are closed, locations are here, and unfortunately, you see, it's many, many trees, trees are dead, and everybody are complaining, total waste of uh, money. Sadly, because of this removing uh, ground and other effects, we had to remove quite many points on such very dense areas also. There is a left, but its indication was still preserved. So for managers, it was still valuable. Just we have to know that some tree not, are lot, not lot, are lost. So after that, we decided it goes open. You saw in the uh, morning uh, sessions, you saw the open data source uh, database of Estonia. I promise it's huge, and I never find anything from that. that thanks to that, uh, there is uh, other services of uh, different application of uh, network, JS uh, uh, thematic maps in Estonia. Sorry, there is no Est English version of this fullness, so I have to show that there is like huge list of different topics which they have produced. And there is also like actually a rural GIS or countryside GIS. And as I was a little bit like owner of this uh, thematic map, then uh, I managed to put, uh, ask to, to add these uh, dead trees into the system. And you see there is like, as Estonia is flown by plane in, uh, by quarters, we have uh, this to emphasize that the dead trees are known in different times. But you can select here, and I promise, if you go, there is English version available, so you can try. Uh, the borderline was very important to know, because you see, the trees are here, but locations are here. But this is a case where you have a borderline of two flights, and this is a LiDAR, is from 22, image is from 23. Just one is from north, and another one from south. So this is exactly on this border. So it's, uh, there are uh, mis uh, cases. But in a big picture, you see, Estonia is full of dead trees, full of life, I understand, in ecological terms. And these yellows are officially declared to be dead tree rich uh, stands. And you see, it's definitely an administrative play around. And you see, uh, frequently, it's a little excuse for state or B companies to, sh to show that there is a dead tree collection, and now we can cut down and uh, clear cut everything. Not just this small piece, so, so they just need excuse to cut. So, and thanks to uh, extra options, there is also now available satellite, Sentinel-2 uh, selection in the uh, countryside, uh, in, uh, in uh, XGIS services. And uh, the same, you can see it now that you have uh, orthophoto or satellite uh, Sentinel-2 forest version, the same color combination. And you can see that here is expansion of the, uh, for the tree group. And what is nice in XGIS, you can make a bookmark of your view and that's easy to put into somewhere in documents or, and it will preserve for several years until land board gets bored and they just delete all the bookmarks. So it's, the dead tree points are very useful indication that go and check it for future. Then we have uh, another uh, web application free for use or open for use. The satellite uh, image lab. Uh, lo okay. Storage warehouse. Store storage. And uh, there is very nice. There is uh, ortho photos available. There is uh, a running uh, package of uh, satellite images, and the same, of course, you have this. Uh, uh, for various types of uh, combination of colors, and uh, luckily we got also now uh, the trees into the system. And uh, that way it's uh, also, you can use it the same way in your mobile telephone, and now there is geo positioning, so if you want to, not to use G XGIS, you can use also satellite uh, hub and uh, just uh, go into forest and find everything. So it's everything, is, uh, just take your mobile and go and do it. So it's, you don't need a big, big computer, and this is what is very important for end users. So uh, finally, now, uh, now, now we can emphasize that all this, what we did, is more like uh, in the morning, who was in a talk, you got uh, the message that we need bottom-up and uh, top-down developments. This was currently 
bottom to bottom, one, from one side to another side of bottom. Uh, until, sorry, where is page up? Okay, until here. Now, to get it more official, there is another por portal, environmental portal, which is managed, uh, used by ad clerks and administrators uh, and of environment. And surprise, surprise, to add the same layer into the, this uh, service, which is just VMS, everybody can take it and use it. We needed the approval of the ministry to add it. We finally got it after several months of presentations and talks. And surprise, surprise, surprise. Then it was just IT person managing the site who was pushing back and we took extra months to explain her that yes, we need, it's true, it's a check, it's working, you can use it. No, she was pushing that we have already these administrative check sites in the field and this is good enough. It's very good indication, you don't need more. So it was a huge fight to get it into the, through the top, back to down, bottom. But okay, finally, we have it. Finally, we have one extra portal. We have many applications. And uh, this is forest registry. The most important portal for foresters. And can you imagine the IT system supporting everything and also a little bit manager of the registry they said that maybe we don't like, we still don't like it. Yes, there are a few cases and maybe, but we're still fighting for it, to get it also public in this official, really end official uh, of site. So it's uh, really fun that you really have to fight to get into the public. And uh, most important, every stakeholder has its own opinion about your open data. And to uh, draw, draw the line, Find the IT solutions will, which will save the uh, planet and world and climate. So don't use these ones which work three times longer or ten times longer. And AI might use even more energy. So you have to plant more trees. Um, bottom to bottom uh, can be done quite easily. And you see, it takes, took only a few hours, a few cups of coffee and uh, tea, and a little bit of free time and summertime when there was no harsh to do everything else. So it was that way, it, it was uh, low cost, no project, no support, nothing. Except that when you try to give it stakeholder, they find, as it's free, is it easy? No, we don't need it. Easy come, easy go. We want to pay, and now currently, big companies and the state uh, order project with half a million to get the same results. Just because they pay, they believe more. It looks real even if it's based on the same data, the same land board data material. So nothing special new, just you can pay, and then your data get valued. So please, ne always ask money for your data, otherwise, or results. Otherwise, nobody will take you seriously. And then maybe you'll find the right stakeholders to uh, appreciate your work. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jan. That was a really good start to the session and also keeping it on time. So, <laughs> well, but you did it this time. So, if you have questions, please raise your hand and wait for the microphone. Hi, thank you for the presentation. It was very nice. Do you have plans to update the, the results? I saw the Estonia map was split into four. Uh, probably uh, due to orthophoto uh, time, and... Uh, there is uh, two things. Uh, there are two aspects. Nikita is working with uh, one of the practicants to uh, get the same, uh, let's say, extraction from satellite image. But unfortunately, ESA is managing uh, with colors uh, square by square, and they mess up the color scheme and the quality level. So Estonia is made into small tiles, which uh, have different view and uh, critical levels. So it's a pain in ass currently to just make it even to work for a small country like Estonia, thanks to ESA. And, uh, and, uh, and, and another problem is that thanks to Russians, there we have such a huge uh, mess up of uh, GPS signals that this uh, summer uh, uh, there is no flights. We have uh, some flight in uh, uh, spring, but currently they said no, no photos, no lighter this year. 
So maybe when uh, Nick uh, will manage to find out the solution for satellite image, then we get update. Otherwise, uh, sadly, we have to wait until uh, your, your flying is safe. Okay, thank you. Actually, the flying is safe anyway. This LiDAR is just messed up. Any more questions? We have plenty of time. Thank you, it's very interesting. I'm, uh, I, I have a question maybe about notification. Uh, I'm from Contour and we are involved in disaster management and uh, uh, we help a humanitarian organization with uh, first response. And sometimes when you estimate uh, consequences of uh, uh, disaster, uh, you have results like uh, this event uh, uh, for, 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 for the area of, 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 of special event, uh, you calculate the number of, of people that was affected by it. And uh, sometimes if you share it with uh, unprepared uh, people, they uh, have a panic. Uh, how are you going to uh, uh, solve this problem? Uh, if, if we will talk about a uh, big amount of uh, dead trees, It's nice to have many dead trees. You can have a lot of fire food. Yeah, you, you know it because you work <laughs> with it. But uh, if, It's a really sadness, actually. But if you, uh, usual people will, will see on your map, uh, they, will, uh, they, they can make a very wrong conclusion about a uh, bad situation. And uh, do, do you have a special strategy? Now, strategy is that uh, people have information. They can decide what they do. And as Estonia has... Uh, uh, four or five big owners and uh, 10,000 small owners, then there are so many different uh, decisions, options, and, and uh, as the life shows, they have all different behavior. And currently, this was my point that administrative uh, levels, uh, land, uh, forest owner levels, conservation level, everybody has different emphasis on the same dead tree. And that way, you can't have single right decision. And the every, every piece, every forest, everything should be decided uh, at site and with uh, local uh, conditions. Uh, maybe as an option you can add additional layer when you will uh, show uh, an estimation from the expert from forest management who knows uh, how many trees should be died in normal for this area. Uh, that's a real problem. Estonia has uh, historically had the minimum level 20-25% of forest land. So now we have 55. So you understand that the most of it is planted or na not naturally managed. Most of it is not naturally managed anyway. It's arti artificial. So you have owned artificial stand. If you want to... See, ah, I can show the real forest. We have very few quarters which have been poorly managed last uh, 100 years. Like... Uh, you can go Jaroselia, which is uh, oh, just, uh, just a last minute show. I, I had a slide about this, actually. <laughs> just I had opinion. Let me know. Most, most, and seen. This is something that I've got to go with in the nervous. Yeah, I'm going to go. Lähenis te voo. Lispalu Jaroselia siin. Näed see nurk. Just it's uh, when, uh, you, when you are behind the computer and you don't took your glasses with you, you, start, <laughs> you feel a little bit different. The, so you, we have uh, all the background information. You want to have digital surface layer. And so this is the quarter we consider uh, as old growth and uh, almost like a semi virgin forest. And you look, it's a cheese. The real forest is actually Capbridge. The typical management, uh, the dynamics of the forest is cap bridge. So dead sh trees should die and get disturbed all the time. But the point is, it is continuous process. And here is almost started already. And currently, you see, it's, uh, it's almost like cheese. There are, okay, actually, there is more dead trees, but unfortunately, most of them already uh, fell, fell down. So currently, you can't move them anymore. It's worth than this th uh, three bears picture, I promise. Okay. Um. We ran out of time. Yeah. Thank you again, Jan, for this uh, motivating and, and encouraging <laughs> talk. And I welcome you to approach Jan then later in the, 
social bites, etc. Thank you all.